All right, what's going on everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So we know that analytics are a huge thing when it comes to the music industry. We know we should pay attention to our data, all the metrics, but how do we kind of funnel through all these different sets of data? I mean, it comes from a whole bunch of different platforms. There's so many avenues we can try and take with our music. What should we really be paying attention to outside of Spotify playlists? We already know that's one data point we really wanna measure and really try and get our music on, but what else should we be paying attention to? On this episode, I'll be going over seven data points that you should be measuring your music by outside of Spotify playlists. Number one, SoundCloud followers. Now SoundCloud is still a viable platform with over 175 million global users and it has the power to kind of build artists up autonomously. If you had a presence on no other platform but just a presence on SoundCloud, you might still have a chance of building some sort of community on that platform. So SoundCloud, if you're going to take that route, you should definitely pay attention to your SoundCloud followers and try and get those followers up. Number two, traditional radio. Now these charts are helped by Chartmetric, which is a website I suggest people taking a look at. Kind of breaks down all your different platforms, how well you're performing on that, different artists. You may not be on there, but you at least get to see what other artists are doing who have some sort of presence that Chartmetric has picked up on. Now, they have radio spins here. I don't really suggest radio as a point that you should be focused on as a new artist, but I wanted to go over it because I wanted to understand a little bit more of what's happening with radio. One one thing to note from this chart is that the radio chart is pretty much just littered with Ariana Grande songs. Literally, she's the only person on this chart. There's nobody else. So there you have it. Are we Ariana Grande or nah? I don't think that we are, so let's just move on past radio. Number three, Shazam spikes. Now Shazam is a way that the industry can use to really correct people's interest in something because Shazam is one of those things you can only do one time, when people shazam you that one time, they can count that metric as, hey, this isn't some sort of bot being interested in the song, this Shazam spike shows that there's some sort of interest happening and kind of growing for your music or whatever that song might be. I also feel like you need to consider making sure your music is on Shazam. Of course, they're going to make sure they Shazam the popular songs because they hear the popular songs more, but if they hear your song, that's gonna be more of a reason for them to Shazam because they aren't familiar and Shazam's gonna tell them and lead them to you. So make sure your music is available on Shazam as well. Number four, regional data. Where is your audience located. Where are they located? How interested they are in your music is going to matter. If you have a huge fan base in LA, but it's kind of weak in Baltimore, but it's decent in San Diego, hey, you got LA, San Diego, regional, and then you'll be able to hit some sort of shows in those regions. Knowing where your fan base is will help you put together a tour to promote yourself and your music. So knowing where that is is something you also want to pay attention to. Number five, Beatport. Now there is still a sector of the music industry who still uses downloads. We all know downloads are on a downward spiral. People are rarely downloading things, but DJs often use downloads when they do performances because they don't want to have to be bound to needing Wi-Fi and enough CPU power to make sure that they can play the songs they want to play. That would be a disaster for a DJ if they ran into any of those issues during a live set. So they often use Beatport. If you're trying to service your music up to DJs, make sure your music is available on Beatport. If you feel like it's fitting, you'll get those downloads. And also the downloads cost a little bit more than they do in the iTunes store. So a little bit of extra change too, won't hurt your pockets. Number six, TV, film, and commercial ads. If you can get your music synced in television, film, and commercials, that's going to do really well for not only your pocket and your exposure, but I believe it also do well for your Shazams because who does not Shazam a new song they hear on a TV show to see who it is if they really like it? I mean, I do that all the time. I feel like some of y'all might do that too. Put that in the comment section if that is the case. So really look into making sure that you have some sort of strategy to at least attempt to pitch some of your songs for TV and film. It's an option and there's a way to make a lot of money and you don't have to be popular to do it. So really think about it. Number seven, listeners and follower ratio. So if you have a ton of followers on Spotify, but they aren't listening to the music you're releasing, they are helping you gauge how interested they are in your releases. You want to have this ratio at a really low number, meaning that you have a ton of people who listen to what you release. If you got 80 people, at least 70 of them are listening. If you have 80 people following you and only 20 or 15 are actually listening, that's a sign of a problem. So you want to get that ratio 
ratio a little bit lower because that's a pretty large ratio from 80 to 15. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to that as well. And those are seven metrics that you should be paying attention to when you release your music. Now, you don't have to do all of these things. You should choose the strategies that work best for you. If you wanted to hit them all, you have the resources to do that. That's fine as well, but these are things you should truly be paying attention to when you release your music. Getting that data back is going to really be important when you're considering doing a new release. You need to know what went right, what went wrong, and what you should do next. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is there anything you feel like I missed besides Spotify playlists? Because this one is about not focusing on Spotify playlists. It's about what else can we focus on if that isn't the case for us. Beyond that, once again, I am Tuco. You can follow me on Instagram at Tuco I am. And if you like more videos like this, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.